hello guys i'm in this video i'll show you how to make your own power bank using this and this so this is a module for our power bank i have this and i also have this small module i have taken it out from a power bank uh, and this module it has uh, one input and one output and it has four leds so it shows the the amount of charge and the battery and i also have this one i have bought it it has two usb outputs and one input it also has a lcd and a emergency led so the lcd is used to show the percentage of charge left in the battery and these two usb ports are for tagging output one is the 2.1 ampere output and the other is the one ampere output and this is the input here this is a button when we press it the led will turn on and here we have bta negative and here bta positive so the bta positive is for to connect the positive terminal of the battery with this bta positive and to connect the negative terminal of the battery to the bta negative so it was about this and now we have batteries i have these five batteries these two are 8800 mAh 3.7 volt this one is 600 mAh uh, so it's 6000 mAh and these two are 5000 mAh each is 2500 mAh so here now we'll connect it but uh, before that i'm showing you the positive and negative pins here in this cell it is uh, clear that this is this pin is the positive and this is the negative and this also and and this it is also positive and this is negative but uh, and these cells i don't know which one is the positive and which one is the negative i have taken it out from a power bank so i'm showing you how you should uh, know which one is positive and negative so tack out your multimeter and select the voltage so here i have these two probes this is the positive and this is the negative so let's check the voltage I will connect one with this and the other with this. So, sorry. So it shows three volts, and it doesn't have a negative sign. So it means that our polarity is correct. So this one is the negative, and this one is the positive. If we reverse this, I am connecting positive to the negative, and the negative to the positive. So here it shows a minus sign which means that our polarity is incorrect. So in this way you can check which one is the positive and which one is the negative. So now we will connect these cells. So we will connect them in parallel because in parallel the voltage remains same and the current is added. So like this. You will have to solder a wire and it will move from this and connect it with this connecting this connecting this connecting this and we will connect it later to the positive pin of the module but here the soldering wire with these uh, terminals of the cells are uh, so difficult so for this we can use this soldering paste it will make easy soldering here this is the soldering paste so you can use this and now what we'll do is to connect the wires so here is a, this is the positive terminal so I'll connect a wire to it I have this and let's connect this I have already placed some paste on this so it is easy to solder and now I have this so I'm connecting all these and then showing you so here as you can see I have connected all the positive terminals and now I will connect all the negative terminals but before this I'm connecting a wire to it here this is a red wire so red is, uh, red is for positive 
so i'm connecting it and now i'll connect the negative terminals so it is done now i have this positive wire and this negative wire i'm showing you the voltage over here so the voltage is a 3.399 it is about 3.4 volt so now what we'll do is uh, we'll connect this to this module so here this is the positive wire and here this is the BTA positive so I'll connect it here so this one is the BTA positive and this one is the BTA negative and it is done so now let's test this so I'll press this button and it is on it is about 78% charging 78% and here it shows out so it means that it is ready to give you output and here this is the LED if I press this again it will turn off and if I press this twice again so it will turn on so this is our power bank now let's test this so here this is my charger cable and this is its end port so I am inserting it in it and our LCD turn on it's charging and here you can see N it means that it's charging and the charging is 78% and now we will take output of this so I have this USB having two wires over here we will check the voltage on this so let's check this here I have inserted and this I have inserted it and as we haven't connected it to anything so it doesn't show anything I have this multimeter and this is a positive and this is a negative so it gives us 4.35 volt which are enough to charge our cell phone and uh, I'm turning it off so this is uh, our power bank is ready and now what we'll do is to place this over here like this and I will tap it and then I'm showing you how I have done it so our power bank is ready and I have placed it over these cells using a glue so you can charge your phones with this the one is 2.1 ampere and the other is the 1 ampere so let's test it with a phone so I have this phone and this is a cable so let's connect it and it is connected it doesn't show anything let's turn the LCD on and it's turned on still it only shows the out and now I'll connect it with my phone over here and here charger connected and you will also he see here 5 volt 2.1 ampere 
so this pod is 2.1 ampere and if I take it out and insert it in this port so this port is 5.1 ampere so these are the two ports of this power bank and this is the emergency light you can use it also as a emergency light and press this to turn it off okay so it was all about this power bank you can um, also use this module the it is simple just connect the batteries like i have connected it uh, and parallel and connect the positive terminal here and the negative here and uh, your power bank will be ready and now you can use uh, as much batteries as you want you can use two three four whatever and all the connections will be like this connect all the batteries in parallel positive 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 and negative 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 and connect them to the module so it was all about this power bank now let's talk about its price so in pakistan this module is uh, about 350 rupees it is about 3.5 dollars and you will find it uh, in pakistan on www.hallroad.org it is the website and the link will be in the description and don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch more videos like this thank you